Hey guys, what's up? It's Mandy. I'm so sorry it has been forever since I filmed something for this channel. But today's video is going to be another advice video because my self-confidence video that I filmed a really long time ago, I think it was like last May or something, which is absolutely insane. So that was one of my most favorite videos that I filmed and definitely not the best quality. That was when I was down in my basement with the really bad lighting and everything was just really bad. Well, not everything, like, uh, I don't understand what I'm saying, really. Why can't I talk today? I don't know. That video got, like, 53 views or something, something crazy like that, and it's definitely my most popular video on my channel. So I thought I would do something similar to that today. Well, not similar, just another advice video, because I know you guys really like advice videos. Same thing with my advice for middle schoolers. And today I'm going to do some advice for freshmen. Without further ado, let's get... On to the video. Okay, number one, the first thing I'm going to be talking about is honors classes. And I'm only taking one honors class this year as a freshman, which I am completely fine with, and I wasn't even expecting to take one, to be honest. I was thinking, oh yeah, just like regular classes, whatever it's called, I don't know. I'm only taking honors Spanish, that's the only one that I'm taking, and I'm not taking anything else. They're all just regular classes, not anything advanced or anything. And I've always felt to be one of the people that wouldn't be in honors classes, to be honest. And, like, even in high school, I still find myself to struggle with things that lots of people find easy. I've just always felt kind of average. I've never felt like the student that always got, like, A's and A pluses on every single thing. It just didn't come as easily to me, and I just take more time to understand things. And I also write really slow, because my handwriting's really neat. But it's like even when my handwriting is a little more messy than it usually is, it's just like I always write slow. It's just become kind of a habit. I just cannot write fast. My hand starts like killing me. And like it's just something weird about me. I'm not really sure how to describe it. I don't think it's necessary to have to take like so many honors classes or all honors classes. If you're going to take honors classes, I would definitely recommend doing one or two. I know a lot of people that are doing all. Like if you're doing that, that's fine. Go ahead and do that. It's just... If you're someone that doesn't feel super confident with everything, and if you're recommended for all of them, I still wouldn't do all of them, but that's just my opinion. I'm not trying to, like, say you can't go and take it, but it's going to be a lot less stressful and a lot less work and effort that's going to be put in. Like, you all have a life. You don't want to be spending doing whole, spend time doing homework every night for a gazillion hours. Like, we all know when done this in middle school. We all done it. We all hated it. So if you have an option... Don't go the easy way. Just go into the place that is correct for you. You're going to feel a lot better when you're in a class that you're comfortable in and you're doing well in than a class that you're struggling in that you don't fit into. I'm not saying you can't struggle in any of those classes, but there comes to a point where the struggle is too much and you kind of need to step back a little bit. So that is just my advice about honors classes. Sorry, this clip is like 3 minutes and 30 seconds. It's insane. The second thing I'm going to be talking about is grades in general and what kind of grades that you're getting and what is considered to be, like, good for high school, like what you should be getting to get into a good college. Well, first of all, you're a freshman, so you do not need to worry about it, like, ridiculously much. You're like, oh my god, I need to get A's and A pluses on every single thing because that way if I like fail something or if I get a C on something or whatever it is, I'm not going to get into like a good college. Trust me, you do not need to get A pluses on every single thing to do like still go to a good college and still succeed in high school because it's not all about the grades and definitely 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 counts more than middle school but still it's not a huge deal in number three try to get involved in things and just be a little more open-minded about things you're doing for example i'm in the school play this year and i wasn't even expecting to get in and i'm like having a great time so far it's really fun and i love my role and it's not even a huge role and it's really fun just try to do things. Audition for a play that you didn't realize you might get into. I thought, oh yeah, I'll audition, whatever, I'll get in. If I don't, whatever. And I wasn't even expecting it. And see, I'm already having a great time. Audition for a play. Become the school mascot or something. I don't even know if we have that at our school. But just become a school mascot or something. Or become do clubs after school. Clubs usually only last an hour. It's not that much time. One day, you don't even, at our high school, you don't even have to go to all the clubs it's just like a hundred dollar fee to do any clubs or anything in school. You can do one or you could do 20. It doesn't matter. Just 
try to get involved in things. Go to the football game, even though I haven't been to the football game yet. But, like, I'm just saying, just try to get involved in something. Sports, if that's not the way you want to go, do a club or get in front of the play. Do after-school chorus. Do chorus for classes in school or something. Like, I'm part of chorus, and I love it. It's super hard sometimes, but it's a great experience. Just try to be involved in things and don't try to be not so antisocial all the time because... You're just not going to get anywhere with that. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to be talking about is staying organized and having a good schedule to work around in high school. Just try to stay organized between all of this. Write down all of your homework. Get an agenda. Like I've already told you, I love my agenda. I write down everything in it. I have a whiteboard in my room that I write down stuff on that you can see. Put it on your door or something so you can see like when you're walking on the door before you go to school or something that you forgot or whatever. Like, make sure to pack my dance bag, or make sure to get water for dance, or something, or make sure to do homework, or work on your silver project. You know, all that kind of stuff, just, that keeps you organized. Just constantly write things down is, like, a very nice tool for me, because when I write things down, I definitely remember them more often, and if I don't, I can just go back and look at the piece of paper and see. So I just write lots of things down. It'll help you, trust me, and you'll never feel like you're forgetting something because I always feel like I am even when I'm writing stuff down. So this is just like a step towards remembering more things. <laughs> so my point is get involved in things, but don't make it so you have no free time whatsoever because that's just no fun. Not, obviously, we love to do extracurriculars, but after a while, you kind of just want to sit in your bed and watch YouTube because that's what I'm definitely going to do after this video. So that is all my advice for high schoolers. This is definitely more... There was only like four or five things that I said, but this is what I have for high school so far. And maybe if you guys want me to do an upta updated video, like maybe later in the year, what I think about high school, like after the first semester or something, which should be in January. So if you guys like those kinds of things or let me know in the comments what you guys think about me doing an updated video of this. And also something I wanted to put out there, I'm thinking about doing singing videos because I absolutely love singing. And if you guys are interested, and you like singing too, and like hearing people sing, then let me know in the comments and like this video because I love doing advice videos and they're so much fun. Those look like big thumbs up. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Oh, my arms look really weird. Okay. And subscribe down below for more videos in the future. Don't forget to comment. And yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in my next video. Bye.